put the politics to the side for a second. What do you see in terms of looking at her cases, what she's decided in the past, what will be brought up in this hearing? Well, Chris, you're going to hear a lot about a controversial case the Supreme Court is deciding right now. Judge Sotomayor was on a panel with two other judges that ruled against a group of white firefighters in New Haven, Connecticut. They argued they were passed over for promotions because of their race. The Supreme Court will rule on this case and on that decision of Sotomayor's before her confirmation hearings begin. A tough dissent in that case that uh, came from her mentor. Uh, who was saying that the constitutional issues were ignored. So that may come up. But because there are so few cases that she's done on hot button issues like abortion, the death penalty, we're hearing about her demeanor instead. What do you think of that? Well, Chris, that actually was an issue leading up to this nomination. There were advisors inside the White House who were worried that she wasn't as collegial as some of the other top contenders. And obviously, that's an important trait when you're working with a group of eight other justices, all some pretty big egos. You want someone who can build coalitions, get along, and be influential. So the White House actually took the step of calling some of her colleagues on that appeals court to see if she was actually a good colleague. They were satisfied. Time will tell. So time will tell, but in terms of the record, nothing is sticking out there in terms of here is a line of thinking or judicial philosophy that Sotomayor has come up with that's controversial. On that federal appeals court, she's done a lot of technical business cases, like you said, not a lot of those hot button issues. But President Obama, in a way, teed this up pretty nicely for Republicans by saying he was looking for empathy. So now you're going to see a lot of the Republicans kind of scouring her record for any clues on where she might have relied on her feelings instead of just looking at the law, which conservatives, of course, say is that's what you're supposed to do.